Hi guys, welcome back to Cherry Chat with me, Mandy Newell. My beautiful guest this afternoon is Isabella Jane. Hi! <laughs> Isabella, thank you so much for joining us. You were the mistress on Evita. I was. And that, went, that was lovely, that went well. It was you amazing. A lot of fame, a lot of... You were huge in Japan. Huge I was in big Japan. in Japan. <laughs> uh, yeah. What are you up to now? At the moment, I've been home, I've been writing, I've been learning the ukulele, I've been spending time with my family, which has been nice, because it's always tough with traveling, kind of just being away from the world and now just finding my feet back in South Africa which has been really, really cool. Any, any major productions at the moment? Well, I'll be doing Calling Us Home um, mm -hmm. this October at Artscape Theatre in Cape Town. Lovely. Isabella is actually, she's a, a, a writer, she's a comedian, uh, she's an aspiring presenter and um, yeah, obviously a singer, <laughs> singer, the most amazing singer. Thank you. You were, did you, you were nominated for an Naledi Award for your singing, for your role in... Yes, yeah, so I was nominated for um, Best Newcomer at the Naledi Award and Best Supporting Actress, and then also Best Supporting Actress at the Florida Cap in Cape Town, which I was fortunate to, to take home. Um, and you are a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. Thank you. I see that word. And her name is Rosie. Yes. And you have her here today. I have her here today. And does she want to say hi? If you want her to say hi. This As is her box. This is Rosie. Hi. Hi, Rosie. Hello. Hi, Rosie. Is nice to meet you. Hi. Rosie. I love cameras. I really do. Do I look okay? Nice to see you again. I see it in a long time. Yeah. Actually, I saw you on, um, I saw you on Saturday. Yeah. <gasps> yep, yep. It was cool. It was, um, Rosie had a gig in Melville on Saturday. I like Melville. Yeah. Filled with dodgy people. Mm -hmm. Like me. Mm -hmm. Not not exactly. But and how did you and Rosie meet? And what is the story here? Do you want to tell the story? I was alone with other puppets, but alone in a toy store in Cresta. And then you came along and you found me. And you were eight years old? Yep, I was very Whoa. young. And I found you and she stuck out like a sore thumb. And I thought, that's something I could try. Totally. And our first gig when I was 16. And now there's no going back. There's no going back. And where do you guys like perform? Well, we perform all over the place. Um, obviously now with, with Evita it was quite tough. Um, or being busy every night. But actually, you, you performed in Hong Kong. Yeah, I did comedy in Hong um, Kong. But we do comedy clubs like the, the Goliath Comedy Club, Pop Art Theatre, at the Box in, in Joburg. And just, just wherever we can, corporates, just make people smile. That's people love. And you're definitely the first puppet on my show, Rosie. Oh, the show should be the last two. Nice to meet you, and thank you for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Does Rosie have an Instagram account? I do. Meet underscore Rosie and um, you have another guest uh, Leah Leah yes Leah um, who Leah was you found Leah in Tokyo in Tokyo yeah 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 and you want to bring Leah up yeah. see this here's the story um, I went through a breakup and naturally as a teenager going through a hard breakup I was like I'm going to I'm gonna do the thing you know, I'm gonna go out into the world and do the whole revenge thing and prove to my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, that Ugh, this is me now. So naturally I rebelled and I bought myself a ukulele. This is my story. What happens? <sighs> so this is so cool. This is Leah. Yeah. I called her Leah. It was very original because it's it's Leo. Oh. Um so I thought long and hard. Yeah. About Leo. So, and I mean you could say I look accomplished. Um but I, I know four chords really well. Let's do this. She played a fiddle in an Irish band and she fell in love with an English man. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hand said, baby, I just want to dance. Take on me, take on me, one love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Some opera. Musical theatre. Like, when did you start <laughs> singing? I know you said when you were eight, you met 
uh, Rosie, and then 12, you did your first stand-up. Yeah, um, um, I started singing when I was five years old, and I've been training with that. I did acting, I did dancing, you'd never believe that I did dancing. Ventriloquism, and then 16, I did my first professional thing with ventriloquism. At 12 years old, I did my first professional thing with singing. And I started with musical theatre, doing children's theatre at the People's Theatre. So I did multiple musicals there, um, from when I was eight years old up until I was about 16. Mm -hmm. And this Evita was my first big lead in a big show. Oh wow! So I mean, I've been working hard for for a good nearly 15 years now. Mm -hmm. um, Okay. Get too many places. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to ask you. Like, yeah. what is your advice for for young aspiring, you know, like performers? I'd say my advice is, if people say that you can't, shouldn't change that. Should. I've been told that I can't many, many a time, but I get up and I just prove them wrong. Mm -hmm. So you have to believe in yourself and everything that you love to do because it's most likely. The fire that you have inside is what you're meant to be putting into the world, so you have to put it there no matter how you get there, as long as it's noble and with hard, good work. Mm. I think yeah. it's also about like being self-motivated yeah. um, and you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. So if, you, if you're willing to do the work... Then you can do it. Yeah. You can make a way for yourself. Yeah. It's make it. The only way is up. So. Yeah. That's it's cool. Early. Thank you so much for, for coming in today. For it was so me. nice to have you. Thank you. I'm going to move away. I'm going to let you play your song. So this is a song I wrote. It's definitely, I can relate to it. And I'm pretty sure some of you can as well. It's called The Friend Zone. Never mind. 